We have a follow-up from last night. The Cerro Gordo community is coming together to help a family whose home was destroyed in a fire. A couple and their dog lived there. They weren't home at the time, but now they have nowhere to go. The fire happened on West Carter Street. The couple had lived there for less than a year. WCIA 3's Courtney Bunting joins us now. Courtney, what are people doing to help? Well, Paul, they're collecting items like household items as well as things like gift cards. But because the couple is still dealing with a huge loss, they aren't sure all they need yet. But the community of Cerro Gordo will be right there for them no matter what. We just want to be there to help. And they'll need it. For one Cerro Gordo couple, a house they called home for less than a year is now a shell of what it used to be. A fire started Monday night in the back of the home and spread quickly. Because that whole back wall actually was just a skeleton by the time the fire was put out. But before it was out, crews ran into trouble when they found out two fire hydrants near the home were broken. We had 15 different departments with 13 different tankers that started shuttling water to us. That slowed things down, keeping firefighters at the scene until around midnight. But the department's support of the couple doesn't end once the fire's out. Their women's auxiliary is now collecting donations to support the couple. We're in the process of getting household items and whatever anybody would like to donate towards this family. Although they're still figuring out what all's needed, the department says they welcome whatever anyone can give. If we can't use everything and it's something that's not perishable, sure, we'll hold on to it and then we'll have it for the next next family that needs it. And that's one of our thanks is to be here and be available to help when someone needs something. Donations can be dropped off at the fire department in Cerro Gordo. We have more information about that on our website at WCIA.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Courtney, thanks for sharing. The state fire marshal is investigating the fire's cause. There's no specific time for when they expect to know what started it. All they know is the fire started in the rear of the home.